Hey guys, I'm working on 2012 BMW X5. So this one is six cylinder, six cylinder engine. So this one is the N63 engine. Usually N63 and the N55 engines are almost the same. They have the same, uh, the engine and the most of the wiring are the same so what i what i have here it's 2a 6t and uh, 37 19 codes on my bmw the the one is saying relay ignition injector supply i have a uh, two different kind of codes here so the one of them is 3719 and the one of them is 2A60 so that the car won't start so it's it's keep cranking but it, it won't start because something is happening with the electrical system and the the what is it the fuel system is is having a trouble so that's why it won't start it's only just cranking so it's it looks like it's it's kind of health healthy so it's it's healthy but it won't start uh, it's not even firing up so so that's why when i check with my scanner so it's giving this co code the one of the important one is this uh 2a 2a60 code code i had a lots of research on this one and then what I have found on this car so if you look at here I I removed all the, the things and I checked the the all the fuses they usually this car has two two main fuse boxes one of them is on the the rear on the rear side of the the rear compartment and there is the the batteries here and then i recommended to check this uh the the what is it the high voltage things here so if if the one of them there is a fuses inside of it if it's the one of them is burnt so you may have the same problem and i checked all these uh, fuses right here and i checked all also this main main relay here but i couldn't find the, any problem i had the same car and i swapped the everything on on that one i took the from another another car and i put i changed the whole uh what is it the fuse box thing and the everything i changed it but it was giving the same problem and it, i couldn't find the solution there is one more fuse box it's under the glow box here so there is one screw here if you if you just remove it so it will come down to you i checked all the fuses here too but no luck the every fuse here right here is all of them are the, in good condition there is no burnt burnt ones here so what i have found found so there is a one supply module on the right side of the engine compartment under the the one is it what is it the the vent under the vent system there, there there is a there is a one what is it the the filter which is going to the cab cabin inside of the vehicle so under it if you remove this thing so with the 16 millimeter bolt, uh, the socket, it will come up and then you can find these, like, a, I don't know what it's called. It's like a, a power supply to the DME or a power supply to the engine control module or like a, the power contribution thing. This one is the new one. What I have found, the old one, I opened the inside of it, 
when I opened it, the one of the uh, the fuse was burned. And if you look at here, there is three relays right here. So uh, if you one of the what is it the and the fuse was burned the after when you try to start the vehicle so the power will not come to this uh, relays and then it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna work that way so this side is gonna take some what is it the voltage supposed to be come out to this engine coils and the engine what is it the injectors so this is the main reason that's causing that what is it the fuel injector and the coil problem so this supply module is supposed to be good or you have to change it in order to solve the problem so this one is the main supply to the dme so if the one of them is burned or one of the fuses are bad so your car may not may not start so i made a lots of research i checked the old wiring harness which is coming to the dme but i couldn't find and then finally what i have figured it out so this is the, the this was the problem so hopefully this video will will help you guys and then i think it's gonna save you lots of money so that that's gonna be the 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 main problem for for the code which is giving uh with the fuel injector and the coils so that's the problem thanks for watching